Hello Aries and welcome to Blonde Saji Tarot. My name is Robin and Aries today is December 22nd, 2023 and we're doing your general love reading baby. Let's talk about you Aries. Let's see what's going on in the department of love. Let's see what's coming down the chute. What's going on? What's going down? Let's talk. We got chemistry. Ooh, look at this. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So two people be having fun, getting to know each other, drawn to each other like a moth to a flame, baby. All right. Let's see what's going on here, Aries. Let's see if this is someone new or if it's already a connection you're in. And Aries, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings if y'all want one. The link is in the description box below. And just remember, <laughs> this baby, the two of cups. Um, Aries, my readings are $30 Canadian, and I send them in two to four business days. So we got the king of wands. That could be you looking over. It could be them. You could be dealing with another water sign. Or excuse me. <laughs> you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or a water sign here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. We got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, okay. Let's see. We got the Hierophant, Taurus, Energy in the house. We got the Page of Cups. We have quite a... Okay, one, two more. Heavy emphasis on Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. And we got the Knight of Swords, Aries, Leo, or can't, what's wrong with my signs? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we got the Four of Pentacles, and there's the Six of Swords. There's a lot of forward movements in this reading here. Um, I believe you've recently met this person. You're about to meet them here with the King of Wands, the Two of Cups. I think you're getting to know each other. I feel like this is you looking over at this connection, developing a an emotional connection, an emotional relationship, a friendship within. There's obviously physical attraction, right? But there's a lot of sexy ass motherfuckers out there. Um, you want someone that has not only the physical attraction, but an emotional connection to each other. And that's what I feel you guys are realizing, coming to the conclusion. Um, you're getting to know each other. There's some hot and heavy energy here at this King of Wands, but with the Queen of Cups here, I feel um, you're developing the emotional aspect, getting to know each other, dating this person and developing a bond. Um, for some of you, it could be a friend turned lover. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse here? Whoa, fell in my lap. We shall get that in a moment here, Aries. Queen of Swords in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse and the Hanged Man. Okay, there's a Knight of Pentacles. You're taking this slow. Um, I think you're letting go of fears, worries, anxieties. Um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse... With this combo tells me there might have been a very uh, unpleasant breakup with an ex or an unpleasant past with regards to love. Um, and it could be on your end, it could be on their end, but someone was kind of stuck on fear, stuck on opening up their heart again, uh, stuck on what it was that happened. There could have been someone that stepped out, someone that really betrayed you. I know Aries are really loyal. My son's an Aries, and let me tell you something. He's a loyal, most loyal person I ever met. He shows loyalty to people who do not deserve loyalty. I try to teach him be careful with your loyalty. <laughs> um, so from my opinion, Aries are very loyal with their heart. They're very giving. Um, so I kind of feel like it might be on your end. There might have been someone that took advantage of you, someone that, that hurt you in the past here, Aries. But I also feel like you're letting that go and you're not letting that fear stop you um, from progressing forward. You may have for a little bit of a time here or that could be their energy. Um, but there's an energy of letting that disappointment go. This person kind of makes you forget about that. And I think you're like whisked up in the romance kind of energy. And, and with, the, with the Hierophant, <clears throat> commitment and relationship is on the table here. That's where this relationship partnership is heading. I think deep feelings are, are being developed. And I think with the Knight of Swords, this is going to be progressing quite quickly. Um, it's not the type of thing where you're going to date for nine months and be like, where is this going? Where are we going here? No. Type of thing that in like nine weeks or nine days or why am I saying nine? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Um, but something that's going to progress quite quickly into a monogamous connection to people who just want to be together. Why wait 10 years to do such a thing? The four of pentacles is balance. It's harmony. It's stability. But it's also growing slowly and building the foundations from the bottom up. So Aries, there's a lot of um, heat in this reading. There's a lot of emotional connection, a little bit of fear, but releasing that and a lot of moving forward. So this person is someone you're either in a relationship with or you will, I think it's more of you're going to be entering into a, a strong uh, monogamous connection here. Um, and I do think things are going to move quite quickly. Okay, so that's what we got here. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So Aries, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we shall get back to the tarot. Spirit guides, what does Aries need to surrender to when it comes to this relationship, this connection, the drama, mama? No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help to resolve the issue more quickly. Okay, okay. What's the caring connection between you and this person coming through? Surprise. Yeah, you're about to be surprised. Maybe this is going to knock your socks off. Maybe you're not expecting to meet this person. 
You know what they say, love happens when you least expect it. <laughs> All right, let's grab these guys and let's get your, I'm not going to do the hidden truth, Aries. I feel like this is something new, something fresh. I don't think there's a long history here. So I don't think there's any secrets being kept. I see nothing about secrets here. So let's just get right down to business. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. They're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see where you are in a month. Let's uh, talk about it. Let's see how things are progressing. We got the four swords. We got the devil. We got the eight of pentacles in reverse. We'll see what's on the other side of that devil. Wheel of fortune. Then the devil energy, Capricorn energy. Uh, for me, wheel of fortune is always Sagittarius energy. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, no, I, and there's the nine of swords. Okay. There's the Eight of Cups. There's the Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're walking away. Okay. And, and there's justice has been served. I do feel you got burned in the past. You got really hurt in the past. It's still projecting here a little bit in the future. But here's the thing. This is your destiny. This is divine timing. This is things working in your favor. This is an energy of letting this go. You're letting your fears go. You're letting your anxieties go. You're taking a risk. You're taking a leap of faith. I feel that you do trust this person. I feel you've thought a lot about this. I feel you got really hurt in the past here, Aries, but with the eight of cups and the 10 of wands, you're letting go of that. Justice has been served. This person is a gift from God or source or the divine, whatever you believe in. Um, and they're making you trust again, making you love again, making you understand that you deserve that energy. I, I really get this heavy feeling when I see these three cards, which tells me that there was some, you got, you got hurt in the past. Someone did you wrong, but with the eight of pentacles in reverse, you're not letting it get to you. You're not projecting that into this connection because this person's not them. Like I said, I feel like they're a gift of God. You're walking away from the stress, the worry, the anxieties. I feel there's a sense of trust and loyalty with this person. And I feel that you are going to be giving that and you guys are moving forward here with the, we look, I want that. Yeah. You're, uh, I wanted to double check. I just want to make sure. That is looking towards the future, planning your future, seeing a future with this person. You're not looking back anymore. That person taught you lessons. That person hurt you. That is the past. You're progressing forward here. You're letting go of the stress, letting go of the worries, letting go of the burdens of the past and moving forward with an open heart and a lot of love, baby. A lot of love. So Aries, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. You're moving on, moving on up um, into something that I think will be a very serious connection for you and this person. So Aries, that's what's up. So Aries, if you like your reading, if you like my style, baby, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Uh, thank you, Aries. I always appreciate your support. Truly, truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. So if you have a yes or no question, send the energy my way, baby. If the card comes up, it's yes. If the card comes down, it's no. Spirit guides, yes or no? What is the answer for Aries, baby? What is the answer? No. Aries, that's what I got. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.